In today's video, we're gonna be going over the three tips that you need to do to transition from stuck in the friend zone to getting into the end zone. If a dude's stuck in the friend zone, this girl friend zone him, what advice do you have for him that he could do to actually get out of that and end up getting that girl? The number one thing I would say is to work on your look. Interesting. And I'm not saying that looks are everything, right. but if you want the girl to be attracted to you, she's obviously already attracted to your personality if she's your friend. So you want that physical attraction. So to work on your look, grooming, get a haircut, wear nicer, more fitter clothes, go to the gym, lose a little weight, gain a little muscle. It might take some time to work on your look, but in the long run, she will notice yeah. you working on yourself. There's short-term and long-term fixes. I think right now, your grooming is really big. Like, go get a haircut right now. Mm -hmm. Go get a nice fucking fade. Make sure your hair looks good. Line up your fucking beard if you can, grow facial hair. And also your clothing right now. The way the clothes fit your body, your accessories, shoes you're wearing, jeans, everything. Okay, so grooming and fashion, like go do that right now. Mm -hmm. The long-term things to be focusing on is getting more lean and also putting on some muscle. At the end of the day, if you did get friend zone, you guys need to understand it's because there's definitely some kind of connection in place. She enjoys being around you. There's just no attraction. There's lack of attraction. So when there's all comfort and connection and there's zero attraction, that's why you're getting friend zoned. Cause here's the thing, if a girl friend zoned you, but suddenly you became twice as attractive in her eyes, she wouldn't be able to help but be somewhat sexually attracted to you. And as a result, she's not only gonna be seeing you as a friend. So first and foremost thing is like, She's just not physically attracted to you as mm -hmm. enough, honestly. So yeah. short-term and long-term fixes, start working on that stuff right now. And that's not necessarily saying that looks are everything, but a woman does notice when a man is working on himself yeah. and that's attractive. Like, yeah. so if you're working on yourself and she's your friend, she's gonna notice the yeah. effort you're putting that's into it. yourself and she's gonna be like, wow, he cares about his yeah. grooming or his looks or his fashion. Wow, he's putting an effort and going to the gym. When a guy works on himself, it's attractive. Number two, I would say number two is to have other girls like you. If you have other women that like you and you have a friend that's a girl, she's gonna notice that these other girls like you and she's gonna start wondering what it is about you, why do they like you, and it's gonna get her intrigued. Pre-selection is probably the single biggest switch that if you could flip, can just instantly generate more attraction. Mm -hmm. So if you don't already have women in your life, you need to start working, working on, on yourself. <laughs> bringing other girls into your life. And it's also a, a good thing because you'll be able to practice on them, not on the girl you're really into. So if she already friends on you, it's not like, you're gonna keep practicing on her. Like you go out and you date, you get other girls are into you, get other girls in your life, bring them around, and then you use them to trigger that pre-selection within that girl, which is actually gonna make her want you more as well. So I totally agree with that. Yeah, and if you want other girls to like you, you need to work on yourself. Number three. What do you got? <laughs> in my opinion, Yeah. I think the third thing you can do is to have something of value to offer. Whether that's like a really cool friend group or you know, you're know you the plug, you can get your friends into really exclusive places or you have hookups at the bar mm -hmm. or at the store or anything. Like something yeah. to offer her that other men don't have. Yeah. And that can range from a million things, but it has to be a little more than just like an attractive look and a cool personality. That wasn't what my number three was gonna be. We'll get to that in a second, but I do agree in a sense that you need some element in your lifestyle that you could bring the girl into and it actually is cool. It draws the girl in, there's some element. So a couple of the ones that she said is like, you could have a really cool social circle. You have a fun life. You're the guy that plans activities like you you rounded up the your friend group to go to a, a game a sports outing a outdoor water park whatever it is right you're the guy that's like coordinating fun activities or you have the connection at the at the clubs or you have some hobby that you could bring her into maybe you're into photography maybe you organize volleyball games maybe you're a youtube dating coach and your girl can sit in on live lectures as you guys talk about dating topics. That's what I did with this girl. Cause we were friends, we started hanging out. And one thing I did was like, 
I brought you into my life. Maybe can you talk a little bit about your experience of what that was like when, when we first started talking? The first thing that had me attracted to him was physical attraction. So he worked on his look. I saw that he really cared about fitness yeah. and he really and cared. And disclaimer, I did really work on my look. I was not that guy, okay? I, I looked like a fucking loser. I had no fashion. I was insecure about taking my shirt off. All right, I, I wasn't, my grooming wasn't on point. I didn't have a beard, my haircut was whack. Teeth were crooked and yellow. Like I really worked on my look over the last decade or so. Obviously she didn't see me at the beginning. She saw me, she saw me kind of like towards the end of the progression so far, but that was something I really did work on. So that's something he was doing. He was constantly working on his look when we were friends. I remember he even like got his sleeve tatted when we were friends. Yeah. Um, and I, he was really into fitness. He was really into diet. Yeah, that was another thing I kind of brought you into yeah. too, right? Yeah. So we started hanging out. We started going on like these long walks. I started educating her more about nutrition and mm -hmm. diet and fitness. And on top of that, I was doing the lectures and stuff. So all of that just kind of ties into the points that she's talking about is having so cool shit going on in your life mm -hmm. that you could bring the girl into. And it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be anything crazy. You don't need to have this massive yeah. YouTube following. Again, if, if you're passionate about photography, if you're into volleyball, if you're into fitness, if you're into mm -hmm. whatever it is, guys, you can demonstrate leadership qualities and, and educate the girl about something you're passionate about and it draws her into your life. So yeah. it doesn't need to be clubbing. You don't need to be the drug plug. I mean, a lot of guys do, do that lane too, but have something that you're into that's fun, that you're passionate about, that you could bring the girl into as well. So yeah. I totally agree with that point, but it's still not my third point. And he also had women around him like all the time. So there was always girls who liked him. There was always girls all over him. So that also, you know, triggers an attraction. Yeah, literally. Pre-selection, yeah. yeah. The first time we met, we pulled up to an outing that I helped organize mm -hmm. and I pulled up in a Jeep filled with like seven girls. Just that one thing kind of hammers in on all three of the points because I was already working on my look at that point. I pulled up with a lot of girls and there was an event that I had helped co-host and organize. So And it's not like all <laughs> these girls need to be obsessed with Right. You. It's kind of funny because we didn't even plan any of this video out, but this literally as we're, video. as we're going through <laughs> it, it's like, okay, wait, actually we did all of those things and it did work. So I can already yeah. confirm it's all field tested. And here's the end result. If I were to add a fourth one in though, I would say it's your communication and your vibe and your game, man. I, I still think that that's an important part of this because there's a lot of dudes that are friend zoned because they don't know how to talk to the girl the right way. You don't know how to tease and flirt and vibe with the girl the right way to trigger that emotion yeah. within her with your communication. That is true because although you're physically attracted to someone, like you could be out and you see a guy and you're attracted to him, but then once he starts talking to you, <laughs> but, game over. Because for example, I was out with my friends and we were at a club and there was this guy there who was probably the hottest guy at the venue and she noticed him and was physically attracted to him, but once he They were came talking up, about him too, ahead of time. Yeah, so like we he had the look before he even came over and He had the look, her. he had shit going on in, in the environment, like he was popping. They were looking at him. I'm not gonna lie, he was an attractive dude too. If I saw him out, I would be like, that, you know, that's one of like the cooler guys at the venue. Yeah, right? but he was just, he had pretty bad communication and pretty <laughs> bad game. He was like yeah. kind of really rude and he was only focused on her too and kind of ignored all the friends and were, was very rude to me when she had introduced me. Right. And that was just like, he and she was very attracted to him. But the minute he was rude to me, she, he lost her. Yep. So, you know, take that into consideration when you go out to always talk to the friends as well because the impression that you put on the friends will determine if you can get the girl or not. That pretty much wraps us up. In summation, it's gonna be your look. You guys gotta work on your look right now. Short term, there's things you guys could be doing like right now today. Get off of this video, go start working on that shit. Then there's more of the long term things. It's more gonna be health and fitness as well. Aside from that, then we're also gonna be working on pre-selection. Having females around you, okay? Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to be girls that you're only hooking up with. It's, friends, it's a, guys, it's attractive to have workers. female friends. Mm -hmm. A lot of dudes that are into the pickup and the game industry, like- They never want to have friends. Yeah, they don't, yeah. Like, they only want to just get with the girl and yeah. it's nice to have girlfriends because it benefits you and you learn a lot Thousand and it also makes yeah. you look really good. Yeah, so it's that. Then she said number three was having the lifestyle 
to, to draw women into or having something cool in your life going on that you could mm -hmm. bring girls into, which I agree. And then my third is game slash communication. But good You're, game. Well, obviously, <laughs> yeah. Having good game, good communication. So that wraps this up. If you guys want to work on your game, if you want to work on your communication so you can be the more attractive dude to bring women into your life, I can help you with that, all right? Check out the links in the description. Okay, check out my coaching programs. You can fill out an application down there. That's all for this video, do guys. It. I'll you talk to you. <laughs> you probably need it. <laughs> Click the link below, all right? I'll talk to you guys soon. Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out, guys.